Hello, this is Activate Your Grammar. Today, we're going to look at the past perfect continuous tense in interrogative sentences. We use the past perfect continuous to talk about an action that started in the past and we are not continuing in the present. Now, let us contrast it with Spanish. The structure goes as haber, conjugado de acuerdo con el sujeto, más, estado, el participio pasado de estar, más el verbo continuo, ando, endo. ¿Había estado trabajando en este restaurante? Had I been working in this restaurant? ¿Habían estado ellos caminando en el parque? Had they been walking in the park? Okay, now that you have seen how to form the past perfect continuous in Spanish, let's check out the English. The structure is as follows. The word had, depending on the subject, plus been, the past participle form of to be, plus the verb ending in ing. Please remember that in past perfect continuous, you always use had, right? Here are some examples. Had I been meaning to phone Kim? Had I been meaning to phone Kim ever since I heard she was back in the country? Please remember that you can ask in a simple or a more complex way. Had the event been taking place since 1980? Had the people been saying that the old factory should be shut down? Please remember, when using the past perfect continuous, we are establishing that we have two key aspects to consider. First, the use of the auxiliary verb had for every subject, and also the second aspect, the use of the past perfect to talk about an event that used to happen in the past and does not anymore. Congrats! Now you understand how to use the past perfect continuous in English. Good luck! Transformación, innovación.